All right, the map is Classic World, and these are the bonuses, 5, 2, 5, 3, 7, and 2, and we're the yellow player fourth in the turn order. And this blizzard right here doesn't do much of anything. Neither does this one, neither does this one. Although, I mean, there is a weird path through here, which you can also go through here. So not the most impactful blizzards. We are very, very strong for Australia. We have been gifted the God Spawn of Australia. We go fourth in the turn order. We'll just slap everything here. Boom, boom, fortify here. Next room, we fortify here. We just get Australia. We just get it. Purple is very strong for either South America or North America, where there's five, eight, nine, 12 troops in their way for North America. That might take a while. If I'm purple, I'm looking probably at South America, but green fortifying in. The question is, does purple have vision? If purple doesn't have any troops here, here, or here, then they won't know that green is fortifying in and going for green. I would love to see green and purple fight for South America and waste each other's time. Makes my Australia more valuable. And red player is very, very strong. The red player is very strong for Africa. And they know it because they can see this. They, they see everything. They know everything that's in Africa. And they see that my four is in the way. So my four might be toast. I mean, if I want to move my four over here, at least one troop there, one troop, one there. So I can only fortify one into here. So leave it there to slow red down. Maybe that, oh, losing, why, wait, red? Bro, red, you good? You stacked everything there and hit something over there and lost three troops doing it. So that was a big stack from somebody. Don't know whose it was, but that was a weird play. I think oh, red, you can see that you're so free for Africa. You're, you're, you've also been gifted a god spawn. It's a free Africa. There's six troops in your way. You've got 10 there. It's free real estate. So you've got four here, two here, two, one. I mean, orange is also, unless there's a bunch here, orange is strong. You're hitting red. Maybe red hit you, and that's why you slapped there too. So you could have gotten an easier card here. I don't know. Interesting match. But if you guys fight each other, that's great. I'm just going to leave that four there to slow red down. Maybe they like, maybe they didn't scan the board quickly enough. Maybe red's a newer player, didn't see. But they were given losing two on two is not a great feeling for us, but it's not the end of the world. Lost none there. That's good. Fortify this over to here for an unshakable round one Australia with nine troops defending it. Once I fortif fortify it for here, it'd be 10. Once I stack even more troops there, it'd be even more. So strong. Purple can't decide where they want to go. Oh, they do want to go for South America. They slam there. They're they're, they're They want to scout it out or maybe like green stacked a big thing in their way there. I don't know. But if they're inside of here, oh yes. I mean, that's not good because now you're making Europe free for orange. Maybe orange has got a big stack here. Kind of guessing in the fog of war. But that's, um, yeah, I mean, that two's gonna get slammed eventually. That, like, I think purple is definitely going for uh, South America and this is just them working towards it. And green, mystery turn from you. As long as I get my bones for a few more turns than you guys and don't take too much damage like this three i'll probably get slammed by something green maybe green is i think green and purple might be going to war that three is gonna get bodied at some point i think i can't do much to save it unless i stack more troops on there no i think green and purple are fighting for south america the reds i don't know what's reds doing my concern is does orange get a free europe while two or three people are going crazy over here in that free europe gives them a huge lead because there might be, just be one troop here for all i know and the question is, if they get a Europe, do I break them and engage in a 1v1 with orange when I only have a, I mean, two troops per turn for this bonus is nice, but it's not enough that it makes a 1v1 just dominantly in my favor, because if these guys ease up hostilities between themselves, what are you doing? Are you a player? Everybody's here. Everybody's players. Everybody's here. Everybody's players. Okay. I don't know what red's doing over here. I don't understand this. They are ignoring this down here, which is fine by me. I think the red player is making a massive misplay, not trying for Africa instead of doing whatever they're doing over here. Orange stacking here tells me they're going to attack here into here. I don't want you getting plus five a turn. You're already here. You're already here. And you had a nice stack there, too. And you're going to hit there. And you're going to fortify in. And you're going to have, like, what, 10, 11 there and that there. You're not getting it this turn. That's good. The longer you take to grab that, the better. Um, for me. I need a card somewhere. I could try 3v1 and probably get it. Get some value out of that. Or I could hit this see what's going on over here. Definitely gotta fortify this forward. Um, we'll put these here. We will hit here just because I'm curious. No, hit orange just because, you know, I feel like they're going to be my greatest threat here. You get a card there and then we fortify this over to here. Nice 15 stack that orange can see. Hello. Now they know if they didn't so that I have Australia. And what is happening? 
you put three there because you are going for South America. So here's the thing. If I, I think purple's about to win this war for South America. And if I start a fight with uh, orange that has Europe, I can stop them from getting it because I've got my bonus first. I got a nice big 15 stack. I can just go roll through here, 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 or stack here, hit here, whatever. But if I do that, then one, they might just hold a grudge forever and try to self-destruct on me. And that's a very real possibility. And also, there's a chance that purple just gets this and they have a nice two-point hold. They're getting plus two a turn. Red's just like maybe bots out. Green just sits back and we two go to war forever. It's not enough just to like get your bonus and like break other people. You got to pay attention to the social aspect. And that's where a lot of people struggle is like, I'm doing good. I got Australia. I broke his Europe. Oh, but now he's, uh, but now the dude spent the next 20 minutes car trading and progressive slamming car trade after car trade into me and eventually lost because this guy sat back and built up. Yeah. Yeah. That's what happens. You don't really want to, you don't want to start a fight with somebody unless you either know for a fact they're going to bot out, which you can't know. Are you a bot or still here? Okay, now you're finally going to start clicking down here because you want this. You try a 7B4. I could try and... I mean, the most I can say from this is one troop. Because you leave one here, leave one here, leave one here. I think we ignore that. Red's going to work towards this. They see this 11 stack, so they're not going to rush for it, right? I think Red is deciding to go for Africa. A little late. Oh, I don't think I can go for another bonus here. I don't think I can... Ooh, they're moving over there. That's fine. I could use that to get a card next turn. I'm going to lose that 2 over there. That's fine. You might grab this... Uh, Europe this turn. Okay, yep. You might grab it this turn. I'm going to attack again. I need to see the dice move again, because I'll be you attacking to here or to here. Uh, I don't know. You didn't get this turn. Okay, obviously I can see that. The longer you take to get that, the better for me. But I don't necessarily want to be the one breaking you. I think we just be unassailable over here. We get a nice card over in here. And we stay down there in case the red player is fixing to move this through here or this out of there. Give myself options. I think, how many troops did you get there, sir? Three. You, you stack three over here. You hit greens too. Hmm. Is green, I think green might be stacking in here with a big 10 stack or something blocking purple from getting this. Which is, yeah, I think green and purple are fighting for there and green's got monster stack in there. I don't know what the heck red was doing up here. They attack over there as well. Okay. They're just working to get more. They just want to get more over here. Gotcha. They want to get that three over here. That might have been nothing to do with attacking green. They just want to get all the troops here. All right, what are you doing? You're going to attack in? You're not a bot. You're not. That's not how bots attack. It's weird pauses. Okay. And you are still... You're, you're very patiently... I mean, this is fine for me. You're blocking North America. You're breaking green if they have this. You're blocking Africa. You're handling everything for me apart from uh, orange and Europe. Which, uh, I love that for me. That That's great for me. I can keep card trading other places around here. Build up over in this region of the world. And, oh, green! Oh, green. I would, uh, I'd like to see green be breaking Europe. No, you're fortifying away. Green is just... So green, I think, is might be working towards North America. Are they giving up on this? No, I mean, wouldn't you have this already? Maybe, maybe there's just like a, like a five green here and like a, a five orange here and purple's taking time. I don't know. Okay, red is now switching to Africa a little bit late. You can hit a 5v2, hit my two because the smallest round you need a card. No, you hit it for a card over there. Okay. They understand the importance of card trades. I get you. I get you. Now, for now, since it's fog of war and I'm the only one with a bonus yet, I'm not really worried about going out and breaking anybody. I... I could go do some attacking across the board for Viz. I know Green's got like a 13 stack probably here or somewhere in these fog regions here. Maybe another stack down here. Purple's got a stack here and a stack here. I think Purple and Green are blocking each other from both of these. Red's blocking this. All I got to worry about is Orange. Honestly, okay, Orange probably has their bonus now if I had to guess. Ooh, bad dice for you there. Tragic. Not that it really matters a whole lot. But I keep Vision over there. I think Orange has their bonus. But if I, here's the thing, if I break orange because they have their bonus, guess what? Um, they could self-destruct on me and progress if they stick around too long. But if I don't do it, then they're getting ahead of me. But they're also getting ahead of three other players and they might break them. So I think we just stay out of it. We are Switzerland. I need to get a card somewhere. Um, I don't, I want this thing to be mobile that way. 
in this way. So what if we just stack two over here to get a card, stack this over here, and get some vision in this region of the world. And I guess we can card trade with green, I suppose. I want this 23 stack to be able to go this way through here, or up through this, or up through this through here. So if I card trade in this little spot right here where I can just navigate around with my big stack when eliminations happen, I'm actually fine. As long as I keep something trading in here, that'd be fine. Although I think green, green doesn't know the purple moved out here unless they have troops in here, so they probably do. I can also like card trade in this region of the world. Oh, purple, I think, just broke orange. It's pointing up there. Purple broke orange. I didn't have to do it. Purple did it for me. Purple's mission is to block people from having bonuses more so than taking their own, I think. That works great. Purple took the risk for me. The only world where breaking something like that works out for you is if they're very passive and don't like hold a grudge or retaliate against you for doing it. Or if they're the kind of person that they get broken and they bought out. But there's like a... 50% chance you break somebody's Europe like that, that they're just going to be like, all right, well, if I lose, you lose too. And they're going to th slowly throw all the troops into you, at least for one turn, sometimes for four or five, six turns. So I've had that happen to me so many times. That's why I just don't do it. I could have broken them last turn, but 50% of the time you do that, it's like, oh, you broke me. All right, I'm going to sit back, car trade, wait till the car trades get big. And then I'm going to car trade for 30 and it goes all into you. And then we both lose. And I'm like, okay. The social political game is very important here. All right, red stacking a little bit there. They're stacking over here. Red just wants to have a stack down here. Red's give. I think red is giving up on a bonus. I think green's giving up on a bonus. I had the god spawn, the Australia god spawn, and orange um, is being denied their bonus because purple's like, okay, it's bad enough that yellow's getting a plus two. I'm definitely not gonna let you sit back and get a plus five. So they break that. They're taking the risk that I chose not to. Maybe I should have taken the risk for content. But to be fair, it's not like a, a risk that benefits me a lot. Like a, a risk, for, taking a risk for content would be like, you know, oh, greeting for the Australia spawn I got for free this time. But like, you know, breaking somebody for content is not the most engaging thing because, well, the results are either, yay, they're broken or, uh-oh, uh, here's the full send coming in and I lose. Maybe that's not the best content. Um, yeah, take a risk and just like, because if I broke them to take Europe myself, now that's a risk for content. You, I mean, Orange has plenty of spots to card trade here, here, so I can just hit there and, well, that blocks my pathing. I need, I, I don't want to block my pathing. Um, but you guys aren't really cooperating with me. Green's not hitting me for a card. Um, ah, oh, my pathing is weird. Hmm, I guess we're going to be blocked over there. That's what we're going to do. We're going to hit here, and then we're going to, okay, see your six, we're going to fortify back over here, and we still have good pathing here. Hopefully somebody hits this or this next turn. I don't want to block pathing here. If I hit this, then the stack can't go for the easy red kill. If I hit here, then I have to go through orange and hold this. I want my pathing clean. There we go. All right, still a player, still a player, still a player, still a player. How many troops did you get, sir? I wasn't paying attention. Three for green, purple started with five. They do have their South America, and they've got a stack here, and probably a stack here, maybe here. All right, that's fine. I should be well ahead of them because I haven't gone into war or anything like that. And I got mine right away, so I've got 43 troops. I imagine purple has a most, like, 30-some, like 35, 38. I have to guess. I haven't taken too many casualties. Green is hitting there. Okay, we're car trading around here. Love this for me. I think green wanted me to hit that because they want to have a path. They wanted me to break their path. Well, that's fine. I don't need this path here because I can. It would be nice to be able to go through here like this or through here like that. But we still can go this way around go this way. Card trading in these tiles here is not a problem for me. In fact, I hit here. Maybe green will hit that. All right. What are you doing, Sir Red? You're hitting up there. I can card trade down here is even better for me, frankly. That's even that's an even juicier card trade area for me. You're taking multiple times. You're leaving Africa. That, that's a strange place, sir. That's a strange place for you to leave Africa. I don't know why you're leaving Africa. Hmm. That's that concerns me. That you're now going to give purple a free plus five per turn. I don't like that per se. I'm also worried orange is getting plus five a turn. This this concerns me. I need to get vision on board. See, I know I need I need to learn where everybody's at. Orange, I think, probably has all this. 
purple has all this. I need to hit here to see if red is around here. I need to learn. I think red might be the one to get eliminated. Orange does not have their bonus. Somebody broke them. It is time for me to learn where people are at on the board because the time for eliminations might be coming soon. It might be happening. It might be happening. Okay, purple's here, 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 and here. I hit this. We find out what's here. I need to find out what's over there, there, and there. Orange does not have their bonus, which is good for us. They did car trade uh, early. Um, no, I think that was a force car trade. I think green must have done a car skip earlier. Did you car trade soon? Who's where are the car trades here? Five. Two people have already car traded. Okay, we need to car trade. Give me the bonus there. Now we have 13 to place. And we've got a couple bonus over there. We can car trade. I don't think we want to go for elimination right now. We want to be left alone is what we want for ourselves. We hit this, like so. We find green there. And we just chill out for now. Although the point where we need to eliminate people for cards is soon, so scouting more would be good. You stack five there. Okay. A bit more. You card trade as well for ten. Hmm. I want to get eliminations, but like people haven't done a good job of grabbing their, grabbing their bonuses, so it's tricky to where everybody's at. You hit there, that's fine. You hit there, so now we know purple's here, 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 and possibly here. You going for elimination? I don't know. I don't know where everybody's at. I don't think green's in here. I kind of wish orange actually had their bonus last turn. That way I could know that nobody's in there. And I, I know purple has this, 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 probably this, and this. And then I know that to take out green, I just need to hit this, and then this. And then maybe green's over here and somewhere, or in here. Uh, they card traded. If they hadn't card, I mean... Force card trade. Hmm. Hmm. I need to go for an elimination soon. Okay, so green hits there. Okay, so we know green has this and this. Green only has that. I don't think green's here. I think green's getting easier to eliminate soon. I don't think red's over. If I need to hit there to see if red's there, I might have to attack multiple times per turn. I could hit, hit this. Okay, so oh, oh, green is hitting. Is green? Oh, green's taking North America. I think green's taking North America, but that seven's not going to get it done. They might be attacking purple. Yeah, I think they won North America. That I mean, good dice, 5v3, bad dice, unlucky if you... So they were going for North America and they failed. It's fine, we ignore that. They'll probably have a big stack here and a big stack here. Alright, I probably don't want to hit that green there because it makes it harder for orange to get a kill on green because they don't know that's there. This four hits there for vision. I know green's here, 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 and here. I have to I have to assume that they're here as well. I have to assume that they're here as well. I would think they're here as well. And I could I would I'd love to hit that f that four is blocking my vision what's over here. I could stack here and hit that purple. But then that makes it easier for somebody else to get the kill on purple. Red with the car trade on three is gonna help them stay alive for a lot longer. Alright. Not a bot, are you? They red became a bot. I don't know why red bought it out, but they did. So that's important to know. The bot wants to stack near my giant kill stack. That's not great for me per se. The bot's taking away my vision. The bot's probably gonna hit that one eventually. I mean, there's a world where the bot eventually hits that four right there. I could stack two here, hit this, and finally see what's here and here. Just gain knowledge because the bot's most likely gonna hit that two of my next turn. So red bought it out, and we've, we're losing vision over there. You're breaking that case. Green had that. No, I, think, no, I had that. That was mine. But now you're blocked from going out that way. Did you get plus five? Uh, no, you still have your bonus. Five troops for us. I kind of want to get vision over here and get vision right there. So I'm going to put them all right here, even though I'm probably going to lose most of these. It's important for the vision. Uh, hit that there. It's all red. I'm blocking myself. I'm going to count on the bot to push through here. Hit this. Okay. And the, I'm actually going to attack out a bit more and stack this over here. Out of the way. That way... See, now we have vision here. Now we, That way it's more likely that the bot will um, hit these ones and give me a clear path back through. But I needed vision. So purple has a four here. And then purple is here, 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 here. Maybe stacking in Europe block orange from getting Europe. They're stacking over there because they want to keep that alive. Okay. They might be going for the red kill right now. It's not worth it for one card. Or they're scoping out. They got to, or they're trying to like stay alive, hard to eliminate. 28 stack from purple right there. I need to remember in this case to lose vision. There's a, full, a four from red right here. To, so to get 
So to get red, I need to stack some here and go in through that way. It's not worth getting red for a while. I need to keep some, I need to start putting some troops here, I think. Keep that stack alive, if at all possible. And um, green card traits keeps themselves alive. Green's going to be strong over here. Purple seems to be playing well for blocking eliminations. Um, I know, I know, uh, purple might not know how strong red is over here. Green card traits keep themselves alive. They're attacking, probably fighting purple a bunch. I need to get my second stack nice and healthy on troops and scout around. Green is going to take my, take me out of there because they want this. Green might have just taken red out of here, probably. I bet red just, I, I bet green just pushed red out of there. There's a very strong chance red is just here, here, and here. I'm not going to go for the elimination on them yet because they only have one card. But if we go around next turn and green has their bonus, I mean, purple probably breaks their bonus, right? But if we see purple attack here, uh, then I doubt red is in here. I think green's just focusing on getting their bonus one, two, three point hold. I think that's what's happening over there. I think purple's probably stacking here, blocking Europe. We need to move around and gain vision. We must gain vision on the board. But the block is, the, the bot is blocking me here. I wish the bot had like three cards right now, doesn't get a card trade, and it's a turn of four cards because I could just go, uh, you know, boom, 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 and probably get the elimination. The bot's doing a thing where it likes to, st sometimes the bots like to stack up against a big stack and just not attack out with them. And that's the bot's doing against me right now, unfortunately. It's actually pinning me in to, so where the only kill I can go for right now is the bot. That's a, frankly, a pretty big problem for me. I should get this stack nice and strong. Put some troops here. And hopefully the bot doesn't attack that attack here. I need to get a card somewhere. Um, man, this bot is really screwing me over, frankly. We're still in a good position, but if this bot blocks me from getting a kill for a few turns, and then somebody else gets it, that's a problem. Oh, it's blocking me from getting a card, too. Oh, this bot is really screwing me over. I need to put three here and hit this. And then hope that two, he uh, making that a six is enough to get that bot to not attack. And the bot is royally screwing me over. Royally screwing me over. Let's move these back over here. No. Um... And our turn. Man, this bot is... Man, it, it really is unlucky for me that red bought it out, and they are going for me exclusively. Purple stack in there. They might hit this three, in which case I should have fortified it back, but I'm hoping they're going to hit into there. Okay, they did hit there. They lost two. There's a chance that could have been red's four. I think red is out of here. Out of here. I think red is just here, 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 here. And we're going to try and get that red kill because this red bot is screwing us over. <laughs> it just won't, like, it's bad enough you're stacking next to me, but like, I'm not even on a capital, man. It's, it's not even a capital. It's rough. Sometimes some bots will go on rampage. Some, there's different types of bots. This bot is like the treat big stacks like it's a capital stack and put everything next to it. Green has no bonus because purple probably broke it there. Um, purple, I think we're probably still the highest on troops. Everybody's been fighting each other a lot. But just the bot, like, I'm at the point where I would have liked to have got an elimination by now on round nine before the car trays start getting too big. But the bot really uh, just boxed me in and blocked off my vision. Very unfortunate that they bought it out like that and pinned my 41 stack in. A player, unless they're really bad, would never do this because this is just begging and screaming, eliminate me first. Which, once this bot gets its next card, I think we take the bot out next card for three cards, because that would give me its three plus my five is a double elimination. Can't risk it card trading on three the turn after that, so. And I think the bot is just here, uh, here, 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 maybe here and here and here. I doubt it's in there. We hit here, 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 split leave three, and then hit here, and if it's inside of Europe, we can go in. That leaves a stack here, I could go for double elimination. Um, if orange doesn't card trade in four, we'd probably go for orange. I think orange is just in Europe. So, yeah, here, here. Yeah, attack that, leave my six alone. Please don't hit my six. I need that. Don't hit my six. I'll have to split down. That, that six can hit that. Oh, it attacked up. That's fine. Makes my life easier. Four for that five away over to this or something. And if I can get... Uh, I, need, I need orange to not card trade on three. I need orange to not take out the red bot with the card trade on three. You have not managed to hold your Europe, which is tragic for you. Am I the only one who's held a bonus? No, no, no. Purple held a bonus for like a turn or two or so. We're doing all right. Oh, the card trade. That's a problem. I wanted to take out red and then take out you. Would have been really nice because I could have gotten my five cards. So your five cards with bots. Three cards is 13 cards. It gives me like a double card trade. Is that a triple card trade? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. 
but we'd have been would have been real nice. But uh, I think you're you're attacking a bunch. You might be fighting green or purple a lot right now. Maybe you're going for a kill on green or purple. Um, you're not gonna get a card trade afterwards for it. You're not going for red. At most, if you're going for a kill, at most you get is two cards. So that's not a problem for us. I think we are going to stack everything on you. Yeah, here, here, here. I mean, actually, it might be here, here, if the bot's here. This, this, this. They got the kill on purple for two cards, but you still only have three cards, which will end your turn on four cards. Do I go for you? We go for the bot, actually. And then we also break you in the process. Stick to the plan, go for the bot, give me that card trade of that. Yes, please, gotta be quick. It all goes here. Actually, I can do nine, uh, do this, so I don't have to split funny, right? And then we hit like this. Ta-da! <sighs> okay, screw me, right? <laughs> All right, fine. Thought that was guaranteed. Um, it is not. Hit this. Down to here. Stick to plan. Kind of works. Could have saved myself more troops down there, but I th didn't think it would go that way. This hits over to here like so. This hits over to this. And then to this. And then to this. And then to this. That's a nice elimination on the bot. Gives me another car trade. Recess the timer. I think we go for orange because they might have car trade as well. Give us this. And it all goes here, and then this hits over here, maybe? I'm not sure I should do that or not. It's fine. And then we go around the board quick and try and get orange for their cards. It'll be good, unless green's too much in my way. Um, let's do this. Hit this. Hit you. Only leave three. Gotta go quick. I could, might be able to get you both here, frankly. Green might be almost out of this. I think you guys have been self-destructing over here. You have been self-destructing over here. You have... Um, I don't really care who I give... Oh, big stack. Oh, okay, get, get orange first. Just, I mean, we're guaranteed to take out, but... Respect the 32 stack from green. You blocking purple for a while helped. Did purple ever have that? He must have moved down in there. We card trade again, and that's going to be a, a good game. We'll play stick around. We're going to do another match after this one. Once we get this sweet little dubski, well, bam -oh, you love to see a triple elimination in a single turn. There it is. You love to see it. GG, next match. And here are the ranks. All right, the map is Europe Advanced, and these are the bonuses. 2, 3, 4, 4, 6, 4, 4, 5, 3, 8, 7, 4, 6, and 3. And the green player quickly put down Iceland, because that's a one-point hold right there, once they push that blue two. Also, we're the yellow player, fifth in the turn order. This blizzard does nothing. This blizzard... Uh, doesn't really do much because you could just one point hold this here anyway. So Spain's a one point hold here or two point hold here and here. This blizzard makes it easier to hold uh, Western Europe becomes a one, two, three point hold instead of four. Great start for you. This blizzard doesn't do much around here. Makes pathing easier for eliminations, I guess. These two blizzards make this into a two point hold for Southeast Europe, which red gets beautifully. We are scattered all over the board, not strong for much. I actually played a match before this and I didn't bother using it because on round one, the blue player got this a three point hold on Eastern Europe because crazy blitzes all around it. Nobody broke him and they got plus 12 the second round and they broke my bonus and it was just like this was a guaranteed loss in the first two minutes that I worth going to video. Crazy though. The or these also make the Orient into a one two point hold if you block in here is nice. This blizzard makes it into a one two point hold for North Africa. This blizzard makes it into a two point hold for uh, Southern Europe, which I could probably go for and hope to hold if we cross our fingers get lucky. Um, also, I mean, there's a three here and a two here. I could try for this if blue. If nobody goes for this, I can also try this. This is a one two point hold for a plus six is pretty nice. But the problem is that ah, the, the blue player is going to beat me. They're going to get North Africa before I get this. So, because I have to push through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8, 9, 10, 11 to block this. They'll have this basically their first turn, so that kind of blocks us from West Africa. Did they get it? Because 75% chance, 4v2, good dice. Unlucky for them. But they're still, they get that next turn. I don't get this next turn. So, they're going to get this, and they're going to push into West Africa. And black players going to be on their side. Black players incentivized to hold this so they can have a 1, 2 point hold instead of a 1, 2, 3 point hold. We probably stay out of this. Let the blue player and black player fight each other over there. Green player goes for the, the, the noob corner, quote unquote, over here. They can also go for this. Red with uh, a great spawn, getting their round 1 plus 4. I can go for Italy and cross my fingers and hope to hold it. Hold, hold, hold it, if I can talk. Because the, the, the RNG spawn has cursed us this day. Uh, plus six, I could also break red and just push them out of there and take it, but then they probably revenge us forever. So instead, we we go for this Italy and we hope to hold it. We hit this, and then we hit this, and we leave it as a big six. No, no, we, we split it. 
people they see a one they hit they see a like a, a three they're a little less likely to hit now i know how y'all think seven troops for you because you have your bonus hopefully red leaves me b i've got two point plus four it's no different than your two point plus four but the problem is you get your bonus before i do so if you want to come around here go you know here here hit my three and break me you can hopefully you see green hopefully you're a decent player you see green getting this bonus and you're more scared of that situation than my situation they're getting plus five i'm getting plus four they also have a two point hold and they're also going to push into this over here which is you know scary Ooh, green is experienced at the game yeah that's an avatar you don't see newer players use this when you got unlock that's um that's a trust exercise from the green player Interesting. If some, I mean, they have a three blocking this, but um, the black player could break that. I could go through and break that. They're doing a trust exercise to see who they can get along with instead of trying to like split and protect on two locations. Okay, so we know how the green player operates. They want to be buddy buddy with others. Now the question is, do I use my troops from Italy to then lo relocate down here to uh, West Africa or perhaps even into Spain? Two point hold farther away from you guys. Because I don't, I don't really want to go for the Daenerys Alps because that's turns into a one, two, three, four point hold. I am not interested in a four point hold. I would honestly rather navigate down to here and not be in this region of the world. I, ca I can't go for this because your silly little five troops are in the way. Are blue going to break me? Get him break, break. Did you bot out? No. Why did Blue? Because they want to hold Daenerys Alps. That's fine by me. I'm down for this trust exercise. Oh, because the black player put an eight there blocking them. That's why. I'm down for a trust exercise here. Um, I will be homey home. The blue players hope they're kind of experienced the game. They see this here. They're pivoting elsewhere. The blue player, um, they, they've they played a few matches. They understand the concept of like, okay, this guy's blocked me. I'm just going to leave and go somewhere else, which means I'm not fighting blue down there. And I could also switch over to this leave this three and four here Tr like green wants to be friendly i think blue wants to be friendly red i don't think is gonna be friendly i think you're gonna break both of us right you're gonna break both of us just blue that's fine we stay out of that i don't think you i think that was a mistake on the part of red um green's being friendly blue i think was trying to be friendly i'm not i think do we go down to here i don't think i want green in here um i think i go for this i think we go down here uh, and maybe we um, do, I, do I even go for it this turn? I need to get a card somewhere. I can just get a card over here. I'm not gonna go for it this turn. And I'm gonna go over. Here. I'm gonna point at this, and then I'm gonna say thanks. I'm gonna point at this, and I'm gonna say thanks. Give Green a chance to get that out of there because I think they understand what that means. Also, I'm going to block them for going for it. I mean, I guess they could send all their troops there and put like 15 versus 9 and, you know, take it from me. But I think that ends poorly for them. Hopefully they're going to... If they hit, if they hit my 9, we're going to war, baby. And you are just going to lose this match because I will... Yeah, okay. okay. I, I, I was hoping they're experienced enough to understand. Oh, you're going to break my... Th you're going to break me? No, you don't. You don't break me. You, you're more experienced than that. You understand. I ha It's progressive. I get that you have, like, your first and turn order and you get your stuff. Okay, yes. Good. Smart, smart. This is good for both of us. If green had gone bad neighbor with me right there, full scorched jerk, this nine's going in, breaking them. I'm car trading across the map, saving up my things. I mean, I probably not because it's just a waste of my time. But if I wasn't a content creator, maybe I would. Or at least have the threat that I might do that. Would I do that? Probably not. It's a waste of my time. But uh, if I wasn't a content creator, I had nothing but time. I mean, you could. People do it all the time. I don't I do not do it to the degree that other people do it. I'm not going to sit here for 30 minutes making my life mission to make sure this guy gets last place. But, I mean, you know, a hit here in the next turn, card trade in three if you have it and hit him again. Yeah, maybe. You know, keep people aware of the possibility of that happens, right? Let them know. I don't like to, I don't like to do it for like 20 minutes. Okay, blue. Did you bot out? No, still here. Stacking down here. Are you gonna go for this? You're just trying to keep something here to block something from this. All right. I think my 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 turn's obvious. I think green is gonna be a homie with us. We hit here, 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 and then here, and leave us and then fortify it over to here, and then we have Spain on a trust exercise with green because green is just doing trust exercises for days. Me and green, we're gonna be homies. I'm not gonna break them. They're not gonna break me. Uh, red might break me over here though. 
I would like to hold my Italy again. All right, so they're grabbing generic Alps. Uh, I think the problem what you what you did, Blue, is you went towards like I think he was eyeballing this bonus regardless, and you went for him. Oh, you can break my three. He might break my three. No, your player, your player. Um, I thought a seven's gonna attack my three. Nope. Four, and he's doing a trust exercise because he could be fortifying down here, protecting against me. All right. Yeah, I think he, uh, I think green. Uh, we have good relations with red and green. We don't touch Italy. Italy, if we, they take it from me later on, we don't care. Everything goes here. And we are going to grab this. We have read the green player correctly. I trust green a lot, I think, for the moment. I don't think I trust uh, red a lot, but I'm also not going to worry about it. Because I'm more concerned with navigating to a one, two point hold for plus 10 over here, plus 15 troops for you because you're getting nine right here and then territories makes you very, very strong. You're very, very strong. But yes, the green player, is experienced, they understand it, your like your your best bet in a free for all on most maps in this game is to just avoid conflict and greed as much as you can, hope that people fight each other the way that red and blue fought each other. So I'm here and green just got lucky to get their momentum going a little bit earlier because they had like a nice ice and start, put into a nice start over here. Whereas I had to like put everything in Italy and then wait a bit. So it took me a bit to get going here. I had to like wait for them to move their four on my way. But it worked because now we have good relations with them. They could probably hit this, 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 and greed for that as well. Hope red doesn't break them. I'm gonna be homies with green for as long as I, I need to be. Because it's just, if I fight green right now, then I'm doomed. I need to hope somebody else fights green and focus elsewhere. But this is how a lot of the more, like, ex if you get a, a match with a lot of experienced players going on, you, you might see, you, you're gonna see a lot of this, of people just, like, not fighting each other. Alright, so you finally have your bonus. Took you a while, but now you have your plus six on a one, two point hold. Problem is, getting my Orient makes the blue player an easier elimination. I need the blue player to get out of the Orient. I would like them to get this four out of here too, because I, what I want to do is hit this, 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 and then this, and then hold here. I don't think I can do it this turn. So maybe we hit, hmm, hmm, what do we do, what do we do? I could just stack a bunch here and hit for a, and just hit like a card over here maybe. Um, I like that you're looking to stack over there. I think the blue player is just kind of done here. I don't think stacking here is your play. Uh, makes my life harder. The blue player is now making my life a little bit trickier. Don't love that for me. Gonna break green. Don't think you have the troops. I think they're just trying to stay alive. I think the blue player's toast. Everybody has a bonus but you. You're just buying time until you get eliminated for cards. Um, I could try to like lock you in. I could try to kill guard you here. Have another stack. Like, have another stack. If you ever fortify that four other way, which you're not going to, unfortunately. I want to see you hit this for a card here and fortify it in, but you're not gonna. That way I can stack here and block you in with me and get these guys out of here. Who do we want to not get the kill on blue? Green. So we hit this here and fortify it back. That way green doesn't have access to kill on blue, black, and red do. But green would have to like go through here or through me, which if I have a big stack trooper here, they won't. Because I think they're experienced at the game based on what I'm seeing over there. But man, did they get a good start. All right, so red, I think just got a card, wasn't paying attention. 13 troops for us. Nobody here is looking to fight anybody. Red doesn't fully trust. He trusts me because we're not breaking down there. I'm going to stack everything right here. I'm going to hit for card. Green might not love this, but I need to do this because they seem like a threat to me. And we'll fortify that over here. It does make it so I can't necessarily... I need the blue player to hit this or this. 18 troops is crazy. Nobody's breaking them. Because everybody understands, every in this, every, every here understands that if whoever messes up green is a lot of trouble. So, the, so green is getting a nice big lead. And the way I need to catch up on my lead against green is I need to get the kill. I need to be the one that gets the kill on blue, which means I need blue to stop stacking up here. I need blue to get pushed out of here. I mean, I've got, I mean, I've got access to blue here. I could stack a few here, hit this, hit this, stack them here, hit this, hit this. Um, it's not worth it if the card trades yet, but my, my. I mean, getting second place in this match would not be awful here. Green's making Green's good relations with me and Red is just giving them such a massive lead. Uh, but Red and I both understand that if we break them, we're in a lot of trouble. I need, unfortunately, I needed Blue to not stack inside of here. 
I could play more aggressively and push them out. But then that feeds the kill on them to somebody else. I think kill guarding blue here is just as valuable as holding a plus six, I think. Yes, push blue out of there. Make it make it easier for me to kill guard blue. The early card trade from the black player tells me they might not be brave enough to push. Actually, the black player could. You can, you can push blue out of here, but you don't have access to over here. They are working on... They're gonna, are you going to... I, I need... They're doing... Please don't have a card trade. Please do not have a card trade. Please do not have a card trade because you've just fed the kill to me. Actually, you've fed the kill to red. If red is good, they get the elimination on uh, blue right here. I mean, they, if, they have, if, they, if they have a card... Even without a card trade, they just... Uh, here, stack everything here. Hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this, hit this here. I need you to not have a card trade. And I need red to not have the wisdom to take you out. Then I can take you out. Um, okay, so they get the card trade. Um, you're probably going to try and get revenge against the black player, which is not great for me. I might have to just take them out for two cards. And then consolidate a one, two point hold. I just realized it's a one, two point hold. If I can get this out of here, which you won't let me, but... It would be a two-point hole for a 13 if that wasn't there. Uh, did you bot out? No. I want... You're going to stack... Uh, what are you doing? You're, you're biding your time to get revenge against the black player. That's what you're trying to do. You're not... Uh, I don't know if, why, you're, why you're in this match. Like, you have no chance of winning. Yep, you hit them. Yeah. I mean, get that three out of there. I mean, I need to get this three out of there. So that way... Um, the red player can't get it. I mean, the red player might still go for it. Two cards. The black player might just take out blue next turn. For two cards. Oh, do we let them do that? Or do I take out blue for two cards? They've got 15 troops. I don't know. 8, 9. Uh, no. So yeah. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20. They have 20 troops. I don't think taking out 20 troops is worth it for cards right now. The red player is just trying to probably secure Eastern Europe over here. It's really unfortunate. Like, the blue player has been screwing me over royally by stacking inside the bonus that I want. I don't know what blue's... I, I think blue is just trying to desperately get a higher position and unfortunately is screwing me over in the process. But it's not worth it to take them out for cards here. Do I want to trade in for safety? That trade... I'm not getting eliminated just yet. Um, I don't think Amy's going to try and break me from behind over here. So I'm actually going to hit this right here. I'm not going to fortify back. In fact, no, uh, do I fortify down to here so I have better access? Blue, I mean, that eight could roll through and break me. I don't think blue breaks me. They might, actually, they might. The blue, uh, the blue player might, um, they, 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 24 is insane. The blue player, if I move down this, they might be like, I'm going to try and grab this bonus. The fact that they're still in this match tells me, like, beginner, right? Like, you... <laughs> Most experienced players at this point either wouldn't be in the situation or would have given up. I mean, they did pivot away from a dangerous situation. I don't know. It's weird that you're stacking there. You're really, really worried about getting hit around here. Everybody's being very civil, very polite. Very polite, very civil match. The green player massively in the lead. I need to get a kill here. I need the black player to not take out blue. Then I need to take out blue for a double card trade and then, then take the black player out as well for another three cards after that. Three from you, three from you, plus five gets... I spend three right away, give me two, get your three is five. Taking you out does not give me real value afterwards. You did not go for them. Okay, we get the blue player next turn for three cards. Assuming they take a card, I would hope so. Get you, get this thorn on my side. I could have had like an extra 12 troops if the blue player just... Why in my bonus? You could have stacked in North Africa. Why have you... Or why are you blocking me specifically? Every, like, green getting the freest match of their life, whereas blue... It's just blocking me so desperately. And this guy's got blue. Why? Why me? Why me? Why me? Oh, let me guess you're going to bot out. No, that means you're going to bot out. No, no, you're here. Good. Get a card. Hit that 10 or hit one. Hit that one. Why are you Why are you so obsessed on not freeing my 34 stack, sir? I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate that. Green could attack me from behind any time. Nothing can do about it. Blue, I, I feel like blue is playing to screw me over. You notice how they're not hit, I guess they don't want my 34 to have an easy stack to take them out. I got a card trade in five, you're going down anyways. 20 from red. I mean, actually, maybe that does help me out. Maybe they did help me out because red could have then got the kill. Maybe they are helping me out. They took out red. 
I think they're just trying to survive, crossing their fingers that somebody gets eliminated before them and they can get fourth place. They're desperately trying to preserve their rank, even though they're gonna get fifth place here. I think they're trying to push it out so like that's one less person that can possibly eliminate them. They're crossing their fingers that I won't eliminate them. All right, it looks like these guys are gonna be trading Russia. I, it's been a while since I've seen a, a match where everybody's being so buddy buddy friendly friendly. It's really helping out Green, unfortunately. I was really hoping somebody would stop Green. This is this is such a free match for Green. They're getting so much. The right player really thinking about that card trade. Really upset they can't get that limit. I think they were eyeballing the kill on Blue just the way I was. And they're mad they didn't get it. If they bought out and the bot just hits Green, that's great. Maybe not this turn. I don't know why you bought out. You're still in good position. Nope, they're still here. Just taking their sweet time. They're going to card trade. There's the forced card trade, and it gets automatically put down because they didn't take their turn. Red player might be a newer player because that was a very slow turn from them. Or maybe they came back from being in the bathroom. I don't know. Um, Force to use my wild card here is tragic. We do this, and this is going to go over here. We are going to we have to hit this because you have successfully blocked my stack here, tragically for me. Good game. I'm not going to say good game to you because I don't appreciate you sabotaging me. Although you pushing out red helped me. Um, I just don't have time, frankly, to say good game. Uh, do I take out the red, the black player? They have 46 troops and three cards. Is it worth it for me? I'm gonna end my turn with three cards, 60 troops. I don't think I'm primed for elimination, although green might attack me from behind. Um, I don't think I can actually. We card trade again is huge value for us. I stack these over here. Um, here's the thing. Do, uh, I don't go for you right now because I can't take you out right now. Do I fortify this onto here for a kill stack against you, or do I do it to defend against green? If green wants to break me, I think we continue trusting green, because green has so much troop income, like 24 plus a card trade would still break my 23. So if they see me stacking 23 right there, they might not trust. So I think the green player, uh, I mean, they might, they might like break me here and break me here, knowing that I can't retaliate because my 48 so far away, but... They have to worry about my card train three, which I don't have, but they don't know that I don't have. So we'll keep trusting them for now, and luckily they're leaving me be. They like to stack back here to uh, be unoffensive, but if they get broken. I mean, you could we we could break this, and that thirty six can't do much. But everybody in this match is doing the thing where they don't want to attack the big dog. They want to line up for kills on the weak guy, which right now is going to be the black player. I'm finally going to catch up. I'm still in, I'm still in second place. I've uh, I've got more one more card than you and three more troops because that kill really helped me. I could have honestly, if that guy hadn't blocked my bonus for two or three turns, I probably even without the kill would have this much. They really, they both hurt and helped me a lot, but um, we're still in this. The black player stacking there. I have to get a card somewhere. Oh, you're gonna get you're mad because I stack next to you, aren't you? No, no, don't do this. Are you just defending? Don't, don't slam your 38 stack into me. Don't do it. Oh, no. And that is going to be the end of our match, unfortunately. Unless we can... Wait, wait. I uh, No, I have no card trade on three. So the black player threw a tantrum. They could have just stacked there and blocked me, and I could have been forced to card trade here or here. But they threw a tantrum, and now they are trying to force me down. Can I come back from this somehow? Can I come back from this somehow? I would need to get a card and get left alone. It seems unlikely. Um, uh, uh, no, that's it. That's it. That's a GG. We lose. All right. Uh, next match. I mean, I have 15 troops. I can go ahead and... I don't have a card trade in three, unfortunately, but... Let's go to hit you. Before we throw in the towel entirely, let's go ahead and uh, do some damage to you, sir. Make the elimination U easier, maybe get a higher placement. I think there's a world where I'd probably just edit this out, but who knows. Let's go ahead and get you out of here. I mean, maybe we get lucky and green leaves us alone. Don't throw the towel too soon. Maybe we get lucky and green leaves us alone. That over there, leave that one there so the other 18 can't hit me back. I think the black player throwing a tantrum and slamming me was a big mistake. Maybe I should have left some there and some there. I was posturing that I was going to eliminate them, but I couldn't. I wasn't able to eliminate them yet, right? I mean... Oh, maybe I was throwing in the towel too soon. Green's not going to kill me. I thought Green was going to go for the kill on me. I think they should have. I have four cards. Oh, they're going for red. I might pull a second place out of this. I think I was throwing the towel too soon. Good thing I decided to continue. I might scrape a second place out of this. I might scrape a second place out of this because I can maybe get the uh, card trade on four. Gives me... Um, uh, do I have a card trade? Yeah, I've got a card trade on four. They're trying to I think they're trying to take out red right now. 
This could actually come up to my favorite. I might be able to scrape second place on this. I don't know if I can get first. If I can get the kill on black and then red and then slam green a bunch, I might be able to slam a, scrape a first place on this. Don't throw in the towel too soon. No, they're about to get the kill on... They're getting the kill on black player. No? They're getting the kill on red right now. I need red... I need them to fail this kill and red have a card trade on three. Um, I need red to card trade on three and use that 22 stack to do damage. I need the red player to get a card. And then I card trade for... Uh, 25 plus my bonus. Green and I leave each other's working out. I mean, maybe green not going for me and going for red is actually going to work out pretty well for them. I think green, no matter what they did, has been given a free victory because nobody wanted to fight them at all. The blue player sabotaged me from a lot of bonus. And then the black player self If the black player hadn't self-destructed on me, this could have gone entirely different. But black self-destructed me, and then there's nobody to help red against green right away. So, that's a problem. I take you out next turn with my car trade on four, unless red car red might car trade on three and then try to get the, the black kill for higher placement. The black player is still I never even attacked you. I just had a stack there just as an option. I mean I guess it was posturing against you. Alright, so oh red is gonna go for green. Fantastic. I need you to take your actions quickly, but I'm worried you might be a newer player. Um you're not I mean Don't yeah, for, yeah, hit that, hit that, hit this. Go here, hit that 21, go through, do a lot of damage, keep that 36 trapped. Yes, 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 yes. Hit that. Boom. Nice. Go through here. Do more damage. Yes. Good. Hit here. Hit. Uh, yeah. Hit. Split some over here. Oh, they're doing great damage. Oh, but they aren't gonna hit Scandinavia, unfortunately. But they do. Um, the card train three that actually levels things out a little bit. They're saying oof. They'll get a group, but green has a car train of five. I can't take out their 98 troops, unfortunately, but I can take out the black player. And then red and I can do a two v one against green. And uh, 22 troops. I have to take the black player out because they're self-destructing on me throwing a tantrum because I dared to put a stack near theirs. I had two put spots to put it, buddy. There or there. Let's go ahead and get this. I need to not be, like, worth eliminating. I need to get you. It's not even... I'm not even going to touch red. I'm not even going to touch red. I'm Switzerland. I'm getting the kill on the black player. We're not touching red. Make it harder for green to get the kill on that, right? We stay out of it. And then, uh... We, we, we stay out of this. We are Switzerland. And we... We don't try to protect anything. The red player gave me an angry face. They're mad that I didn't go break green. Oh no, no. They're mad I didn't go break green. No. Oh, you're gonna eliminate me because I have four cards, aren't you? No, I mean... No, he's gonna eliminate me for car four cards, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Wait, can you? No, you're not. Wait, uh, you're nine. You can, you can soften me up. Ooh, so they did hit me. Their nine can break me. I think that was a massive misplay on the part of green. That was a huge blunder. That was a huge blunder. Your nine can't break me. They want... That was... That was... What are you doing? What are you doing, green? You've definitely made... I tried to be switch... You can't hit my 40 stack when I've got four cards. You needed... You could have... I think you're... That 80 stack could have probably taken me out, right? Maybe... May, actually, maybe not. No, I don't think you could have gone through 33 troops, 31 territories. They couldn't take me out. Now we card trade on four, hopefully, if you have it. No card trade on four is absolute devastation. That's a problem. And red player is trapped back there. Oh, no. Oh, they were hoping to move forward in time. I guess I should have done some damage on green. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can get a card here off of the red player. No card trade on four is a problem. I think the red player is tapping out. If the red player bots out, that's a GG right there. Come on, man. Oh, no. no wait, wait, yeah, you hit that for a card. Then you fortify that 35 to a better position, which you should have done your last turn. Why do you keep fortifying it there? It's useless there. 29 is huge for us. Huge for us. Massive. Green, you made an enemy out of me. You've made a blunder of a life decision. We are going to do some work on you. Break all your bonuses. Put a stop to all this. You did so much damage to me last turn. I'm not going to tolerate any of this. Keep your stuff trapped away from me. Break your bonuses. All the damage on you. Whoops, slid that too much. Lots of damage on you. Lots of damage on you, sir. All the damage on you. Don't like what you did to me last turn. Let's reta retaliate against you. You're throwing away the lead you had. And hit this. Slow roll this, because you never know. Might get lucky. Um, nope, never mind. Alright, fine. And then we fortify this three or two here, I guess. I don't know. Now... If green has a card trade on three, I'm in big trouble. Card trading three puts me in big trouble. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it that you have a card trade on three. Gosh dang it. Gosh 
Dang it. That's so unlucky. I can't believe you have a card train three, and I can't believe, you know what Red's trying to do? They're playing for second. Red's playing for second. Your 39 stack does not beat me, and I have a card trade of five coming in. Um, Red right now is playing for second while the two of us fight, which I think is a mistake. I feel like they have a chance of winning this. Um, yeah, they're going to break all my bonuses. They should run this through and do as much damage as they can. Uh, I need Red to help me here. I need Red to help me here. They're mad that they hit green for one turn. I didn't help out back. I mean, do I eliminate red for cards? I could take out red for cards and get second place and punish them for not helping. I can't beat green to 1v1 because they have 100 more troops than me. They have 100 more troops than me. But I, I need red to help. Otherwise, I think I just my best play is to take out red for cards and get 45, 90. And... um. If it, it, I, if they, I need them to get a card, and then I take them out for a double card trade. It gives me 90 plus my 36, 120. I lose 40 taking out yours. Takes me down to 80 or so. Break all your bonuses. You don't get card trades for a while. I think I need to take out red for cards. Unless I do a card trade of, you know, 45 plus, I don't know, like 10, 15, 60. Pushes through all this. Hits all of this. And I, I have to put some over here to break you over here like so. And this. I'm not sure which is better for me. I mean, if red doesn't get a card, it's not worth it's not worth it. If red doesn't get a card, I have to go for green. Gr Red's playing for second for sure. I don't know how you win this 1v1 with green. We might though. We might though. Um, I'm uh, the fact that I'm heading cards helps. If the red bots out, it hits green first. If red bots out and starts hitting green, that actually does help me. 22 is huge. We card trade as well. We take this and we do um like this many right here, this many over here. We hit you like so. Might have sp oh, bad dice. They're lost 31 to their 32 is tragic for us. We hit a bunch over here. We gotta soften you up. Reduce everything you have would be good. Keep your big stacks kind of trapped. Hopefully red bots out because they're not helping me so much. Can we pull this back? Can we pull this back? Can we pull this back? I don't want to free. Uh, I didn't, I, I'm not, I don't have access to your 7. I screwed up. Oh, I do have access to your 7. Good. Do we win this? We do. And we don't touch those. We fortify this over to... Um, no, we fortify this 7. No. No, no, don't do that. S this over to here, actually. And now you don't get a card trade. You don't get as many bonuses. Plus 9 is not so damaging. You can't hurt me up so much. The bot might uh, start fighting you next turn. Would help us. Okay, you're gonna break some bonuses. We're closing the gap. We're closing the gap 87 to 60. I'm beating you. I'm beating the player who had a massive lead in 1v1. So I got uh, the kill on blue and the kill on black. You're gonna break a lot of my bonuses. But we're getting stronger and we're catching up because I'm holding more than you are. And you you really need to... F the, the, the where, where green's screwing up is not fortifying this 36 to a better location. Ah, uh, oh, you, you, oh, you thought you thought you're going to push it through here. But you've got your territories in the way. Although if red comes back as a bot and pushes out that territory is a problem. Yeah, you want to go for that, didn't you? Oh, you know, you're going to make so the bot can't hit you for a card, I think, maybe. Still, this is good for me. You're wasting your troops on the bot. Yeah, you're hitting the bots because you're worried about the bot trying to hit you. That's actually fine for me because I can stack some troops over here. Do I have a card trade in three? A card trade in three would be huge. I do not have a card trade in three. Devastating. Definitely need a card trade in four. Five for the bot. You're blocking the bot from uh, hitting the card trade. If, they, if they're even bought it out. They didn't bot out. They're still here. This is fine for me though. Red's helping me out here. You can try an 11 beat. Oh, they get good dice. That's fantastic for me. You freed their 36. That's terrible for me. But you only free it towards yourself. That's great for me. You did free that 36 to get the kill on you. Um, I don't think we... Do we want them to get... The, if we if green gets the kill on red, that's a problem for me. I could get the kill on red for three cards, then card trade red afterwards. Does 44 get it done? I don't know that it does. I could block your... I mean, if you get the card trade... That gives you a card trade. I can't let you get that card trade. Um, I need to block that card trade. But I also need to damage your bonuses. So let's do a bunch over here. But we also need to put some there to, like, make it so you have to spend more troops to get the kill there. Your stack's already free. I want to block the, the kill. I want to block that stack from going through there so easily. Your tank can stay trapped over there. I can break a bunch of this. 
Don't want you to have all this good stuff over here. All the strats. He's lining up for the kill on the other guy. Good play on his part. Hit this. And fortify this over to here. He can hit my 28 stack, but he can't get the kill on red because he has no card trait. And that 36 has to go through my 28. You don't get the kill on red this turn. And all he can do is stack three over there and try to break a couple bonuses. I've got, we're pulling this back! <laughs> I can't believe we're pulling this back! I was about to quit! This is why you don't give up! This is why you don't give up! When the black player slammed me, I was literally about to just end. He's gonna go through and break on my bonuses now, but that's fine because that's better than him killing red and getting red's three cards. Although if red is a card trade in three and is mad at me, they could stack here and hit my 28, which would be bad for me. Green's taking their actions a little bit slower all of a sudden. Hmm, that's good for me. It's good for me that they're taking their actions slow. Playing on phone, got the animations turned on. I feel like, like a strategy wise, they seem to be pretty good. They're gonna break all my bonuses here because I freed their stack to go towards me. But them breaking all my bonuses with their stack is better for me than them uh, getting the kill on red for three cards and getting a card trade on five and then having even more to roll through me. If red card trades on three right now, that's devastating for me if they use it against me, which they might. Hopefully they don't. Okay, and I can take out red here. Yeah, that's great for me. Uh, I kind of want to take out red here just so green doesn't get the kill on them. Green could have a card, tra card trade in three. I can get a double card trade here. We got to take out red. Um, we card trade like so. One of these, and we put, you have 44 troops, so let's make sure we have uh, 59 to do that, and this can go down here, and then we, I need to, I would like to give you second place, unfortunately, um, that's not really going to work out here for us, we hit this, unfortunately that's not going to work out for us, before we reset the turn timer, take some more time to go for green, I can maybe get them both this turn, and... Let's do some damage through green here. Green's mad. I can't get you both this turn, so I don't know what you're upset about there. I think he's mad that uh, I got the kill in red, or he's mad that he's going to lose, or he's mad that I was going to give red uh, second place. I just needed, I was just trying to optimize the turn timer a little bit. You could have a card trading through, it'd be a problem for me. Um, That goes through there. We need, oh, some over here. We need some over here. We need the rest over here. I don't think I can get you this turn, but I can get it a little bit faster. I need to, they're saying good game. I'm not going to emote or talk there because I don't have time. And this is going to hit here. Stop that. Oops. This hits over here. This hits over here. We hit here. Time is an issue right now. I go faster. And no time to say GG just before the turn timer ends. And there it is. You love to see it. GG, next match. There's no shot green was a beginner. Blue was an expert though. All right, the map is command and controller and these are the bonuses, four, seven, five, five, seven, three, and three. And we're the yellow player first in the turn order. And this blizzard doesn't affect this a whole lot. It makes it one less point hold this plus seven, one, two, three, four, five, instead of six. It's a lot. This is the strong side of the board. We're not strong for it, unfortunately. This blizzard doesn't do much. This blizzard makes this, uh, not that it doesn't affect that. Plus seven becomes a one, two, three, four. Man, it's rough. We have no good spawn anywhere. Ooh, boy. I mean, I'm actually very strong for the analog stick, now that I think about it. We're very strong for the analog stick. So I'm going to hit into here like this. And I'm going to fortify a little bit over here so people can see what's cooking over here. And I'm going to start working on that because we've got... A lot of troops over there. A lot of troops over there. Although, somebody is going to conquer this side of the board, and that's the good side of the board, because this uh, C-stick is a one two-point hold. It pushes into this, becomes a one two-point hold for plus six. Is very, very nice. Black player attacking over there. Might be going for system by the looks of things. This four here, and this three, and this two are probably not going to accomplish much unless this magenta player moves, transfers that down there so I can get that out of the way. That'd be a few transfers, though. I need this and this to get out of my way. I could also go for, what am I thinking? I've got, oh, the control and cable is a plus four that I'm also strong for. I could have gone for that. I mean, we only hit a one. We can transfer around. I'd rather go for the plus seven if all possible. It is fog of war, so people don't know exactly what I'm up to. I mean, three, four, five, six, seven troops in the way. 
Oh, red moves out of the way is huge for me. Oh, you champion. Because they see a four, a five, and a three. Red knows I'm going for this. Magenta is going down to this bonus right here. So Magenta is going for this plus three down there. Okay. They fortify that out of the way. This is where I save these eventually. I'm going for that plus seven, though. If I can get this plus seven, it's a lot of points to hold, but just having it will be very nice for us. We... This five doesn't connect to anything other than that. So what we do is we stack everything right here. And then we stack this over into here like so. And we point it at this. And then we say, thanks. We point it at this. Why is that slider low? That slider, right? And we say, thanks. And hope that player understands what we mean. We'll fortify... Oh, uh, one over here. I gotta leave some there for defense, but let's also, you know, try and scare the white player to get out of there. Although, basic frame, basic avatar, they might not understand what I'm all about over here. Hopefully, I mean, what they can do about it. Stack here, hit a four. Well, they might. The black player is attacking over here. The black player left me became a bot. I don't know why. Maybe they didn't like their spawn point. Okay, so we have... Red's got some over here. They're not crazy strong over here. I, I need red and magenta over here. Or white and magenta over here. If magenta gets this for free, we're in trouble. This will be the last... Uh, win or lose, this is going to be the last match of the video. You're attacking a bunch. I can't help you not doing anything over here. Which means I'm just going to slap that form of existence. You're attacking... You're just attacking a bunch. I think bl the white player is beginner. Red player might be more experienced. I need the bot and or red to slow down magenta over here. Or for me... Because they're going to have the plus three. And that's plus six. I mean, mine's a plus seven. If I can get my plus seven this turn and get left alone, I attack here to one point hold. Is red going for this? Red does not seem... Oh, is red is. Red is. No, red's not. You're a player. You're attacking magenta a lot. Interesting. Plus six for magenta. I think red was going for this and magenta hit them, so now they're taking vengeance on magenta. Or they want magenta pinned to that side of the board. Okay, so if red's not going for this bonus... I, I, if I'm, I, I want to hold right here. I want to hit this, hit this, and fortify here to hold right here. I also have to protect here. And it becomes a less points to hold. Magenta attacked over there, trying to get a card and failed, I guess. I mean, if I... Wait, I can push here, here, here. It becomes a less points to hold, right? I should go for this. Um, Let's just get the white player out of here. Get this plus seven. I want this in my life. Get this out of there. Get the bot out of here. And bad dice and we're losing here. I think red probably breaks us here unless we've formed a friend. Um, let's do one of these maneuvers here. Red can break me. White can break me. We're taking risks here. The bot can uh, stack here and break me. I think uh, there's a world where I should have gone for this bonus first, but if the red player is mad at magenta, it might work out for us. Um, the bot's going for this bonus up here is a problem for me. I hold it for one turn and we're happy. Uh, this right here can push through all this and just still be a one, two, three, four. It's a five point hold, which is crazy. You have a bonus uh, over here, I think. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Um, Magenta, I think, has maybe this bonus and the white player got this one somehow. That's great, though. You two fight over there. But that does mean that red might fight me. And that's a problem because I just wasted a lot of troops attacking the black three and, and the white uh, four. It's not great for us per se. If Red wants to take me out here, we, and we still win this 1v1. 6v3, good dice? No, leaving me be. Interesting. I don't know why Red likes us so much as leaving us alone, because they want to go for this bonus. They are just trying to pivot to this bonus for whatever reason. I don't know why you'd want that one. It's a strange choice. They're doing a good neighbor exercise, and they, they want this bonus. They want this plus five. Magenta stacks three over here. How many troops did you get? They're trying that 4v2. They win the 75%. They started their troop with their turn of three troops total. Are you a bot? You're a bot. Okay. The white player must have broken them. They're a bot. So it's myself, two bots, uh, white and magenta. We got a good start here. So we ignore magenta. Uh, we try to shore up our defenses. The bot might hit here. I need to defend. I think we I can hit right here. Fortify this into here is better for us. Put a few over there. Put a few over here for defense. Um, let's not go too crazy now. It's still two humans in the match that could gang up and mess me up here. And let's do one more here. One more here. The bot will probably hit that too, so we don't worry about that. We hit here for a card, and also because it can consolidate the number of points we need to defend. That's a five right there. Is scary. I hope you don't want to use that against me. I don't know why the red player didn't go for this bonus. I feel like... 
they could have had some going here. I think the, the right player should have gone for this bonus, frankly. The bot, did you use card trade for four? I think you did. Bot card trades, they hit the red player out there, so I don't have to worry about the red from behind me. I just worry about the bot, though. I think the red player wants this bonus, though, and they're gonna be distracted by the bot. Maybe red's a newer player that doesn't understand that black and magenta are now bots. Kind of hard to tell unless you're actually checking a bunch or you've just learned. Ooh, the white player has this as well. They've got two point hold on a lot there. Hmm, so they have this. So unless magenta's here, here, or here, or here, or here, the kill on magenta's just down here. I might be able to get a kill on magenta for three cards, or I might accidentally feed it to somebody else. I need red to not card trade and break me. I gotta worry about the, oh, you're stacking down here. You're gonna try and kill magenta for two cards. Magenta is somewhere else. I don't think magenta's there. Check, they're over here somewhere. They got him, you got him, okay. That's well played. All right, red player's pretty decent. The bot is still here. All right, I think we don't worry. If I can secure this, oh, you've got seven troops there. I'm worried the red player breaks me, but I mean, this guy's getting plus nine a turn. They're all, if red goes to war with me, red player's best chance to come back from this is to uh, get the kill on the, the black bot, I think, is their winning maneuver. 11 troops for us. I don't think I can get the kill on the bot this turn. Um, I don't think the red player can either. If they do, they'll be really low on troops. I can even try and kill guard the bot by hitting here and splitting, defending, and leaving the bot trap behind me, but that also makes me a target for its attack. Can I consolidate my number of points I'm holding here? I'm just going to use this to get a card, and then we are going to uh, shore up against the bot a lot. What we're going to do we're gonna do actually you as well over here well, I don't think you're I think if you wanted to go for me you would have already let me hit this over here and that three can chill there I didn't hit the bot there on purpose it's fortify oops wanted for that misclick there I don't think the red player if red wanted to like go to war with me and break me they would have already the bot stacking five there is scary but that's why I have the nine I don't think the bot will take an eight v nine all right so the bots attacking over here a little bit red is I think red is just I don't think that troop bot had eight troops. Red is, I think here, maybe here, maybe here, and down here. I think red's looking juicy for elimination, frankly. Or the bot. Uh, the bot's all over the board. If I take out red, like red's all up in my business over here. I can stack a bunch here. Card trade on five gives me eight plus my bonus of, oh, that's scary. Seven is 15, 18. I can have like 25 at least. Boom, 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 boom. But then red might be over here. Although white might have pushed you down into an easier position. I need I need to I needed to I needed to attack these around a bit, gain some vision. You might get a card trade. Go go for the bot instead. I could stack some here, hit this, hit this. You're attacking down there, getting a card. I kinda need to take red off our cards, but I don't know if I have enough. You didn't I don't know if I have enough to get you. Give me this. I need to get a little vision over here. Stack this here. The bot doesn't attack me from behind. Need to see what's what's going on with the red. They're not there. Um, are you over here? Scouting around. You got an 11 stack there. Okay, so we leave you alone. And act like I'm going for the bot or something. And then we fortify. Now we know where red's at. I fortify. I discolate away from you. And guard against the bots. Uh, you won't attack. If it puts 8 there, it's not going to attack at 16 versus 17, hopefully, right? Now we have better vision on the board. Now I know where everybody's at. I'll make life easier for me. Hmm, I think I could have gotten the bot, maybe if I... The, the, the turn timer's tricky. That's rough hitting me there. And you hit me there. I know the white player is here, here. I think you've got 12 here and 8 there. You might be a little bit low on troops. We have a card train of 5 plus 9. Hmm... I need to get red here. That 11 stack is tricky, though. Good thing I didn't go for the kill, and then I de-escalated by moving out of way. You've got 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 24 troops. No card trade from red on four, and we take we try to take out red. If not, then we go for uh, the bot. I'd rather keep the bot in it, because the white player might not even know that's, that's a bot. It'd be nice to get three wins this video. All right, unless you go for a kill. Okay, what are you up to, sir? Probably gonna push me out of here to go for your next bonus. I'm not worried about that. You're taking a turn slowly. You might be a beginner who's got lucky over here. I don't know. 
You're fortifying over there. Still doing a two-point hold. You're trying to stay out of it. That's all you have is that 38 troops right there, plus a bunch of ones behind it, I have to guess. So I think I'm ahead of you. 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 45. I imagine they've got probably about 45 troops. 46. You hit right there. You did not get a car trade, and four is huge for me. Um, you're still here. I car trade. Um, actually, I should see if I can get you without the car trade. No, I think I need the car trade. Maybe I don't. Um, nah, just in case. Time's an issue, right? We go for you. Because you have five cards, I need these. Get this. Get this. We get this over here. It's good. Pathing will be important here. Bit of this. Bit of this. Bit of that. Pathing is nice. Not having to split is a treat. Over here. Into this. And then we get you. This beautiful. Elimination. The biggest, scariest threat on the board, I think, was you. Um... Do I go for the bot here? Do I slam the white player? Oh, 15 troops, the bot. That does give me another card trade. I think we go for the bot as well. Nice double elimination here. Hit this. And then hit this. Be nice to stop losing so many. There we go. This, and then... Actually, no, hit. This, and then... Oh, that did not path the way I wanted it to. But it's gonna work out okay. Let's get the other stack over there. Forgot I had this 8 here. We use that. It works out fine. We get you. The reason I did it because he had three cards, plus my two is five, gives me another card trade. And I don't think it's enough to take you out because I path my troops poorly, but it's enough to break your bonuses, which is a very important thing in of itself. And we hit over here. We leave uh, four there. We go ahead and take out all your stuff, break your spirit. Hopefully, you don't have a card trade on three. To make my life harder. We hit over into here, like so. We fortify my biggest stack of 13 right over here. And do you have a card trade on three, sir? You do. That makes life trickier. Do I have a card trade on three? I do not. Okay, that'll make this a good challenge then. Your 49 troops does not take out my 85 troops in 42 uh, territories. And... I think you put a Grand Master in the white player's shoes right now, and they take the actions quickly. You put a Grand Master in their shoes, could they win with the 42 troops and break all my bonuses and whatnot? It'd be hard. A Grand Master would be hard pressed to come back in this situation. Um, the fact that they hit my 13 stack, I'm not sure if that helps me or hurts me. The fact that they had a card trade in three and I don't is a bit of a problem. They're doing a good job of pathing and breaking my bonuses. Um. My, they didn't break this one. They should have left a few to break that one. That alone will help a bit. So they're going to break all my bonuses. I do have an 8 here that I can follow this back around. Uh, you need to keep going, buddy. You got to keep going. You got to do as much damage as you can because I still get bonuses from territories. You need to move faster. A Grand Master, I think, here could have done a lot more damage. But we're still in a good position. You try to fortify when you did not. Leave that 18 there for now. And what we do is we stack these here. And we are going to get back involved in this. And hit over here. Get some of my things reclaimed. It'd be nice for us. Get this out of here. I want to claim that. Only move like that. And then we use this. Actually, this seven. We'll hit over here. I think it could, if I... Man, there's a world if I like path better the previous turn, I'd have them already, but... Maybe not so much here. And we go over this way. And then over to here. Keep cooking. Keep going. Keep going. All the stuff, that 18 stack's already free, so I might as well attack here. And then we fortify the biggest stack, which would be this 7 over here. Force you to hit a big number. No card trade to save you this round, good sir. No card trade to save you this round, good sir. But you probably have the I never give up, I never die mentality. So you're gonna keep going, card trade and force so I can win. Card trade and force so I can win it. All right. You're going to drag this out a little bit longer because you think there's some world where you come back. There is not. It's a GG. I would say a good game well played in your turn, but you might mistake that for me, like conceding the win to you. Say it was on my turn. I've heard somebody said that in the comments. You keep trying, but it's just not. You've, you've lost, sir. You've lost, sir. I don't, I don't think you're experienced enough to realize that you've lost is what's happening. I don't think you've played the game enough to know that you've lost, sir. That's what's happening, but that's fine. I will beat you nonetheless. You could have done a slow roll 2v1, or, you know, maybe gotten that. Doesn't matter. I got a card trading for. 
Even if I did have a card train for, card train five gets it done. You didn't do enough damage last turn. I'm not sure if it's possible for you to do enough damage last turn. But now, sir, it's a GG. So we are going to move this down a little bit and uh, wrap things up, shall we? Need to click faster and gotta move through here. Show them the speed. Show them what we got. Show them what we're all about. There we go. Now we're clicking fast. Now we're clicking fast. And we give them a good game. Well played, but I just kind of outplayed you a little bit. Sorry, buddy. It happens. And wait for it. Wait for it. And there it is. You'll love to see it. But I have plenty more videos you can watch too. See you next time. Unless you want to see the ranks. Novice. Novice. Expert. Kind of thought they were good. I thought you'd be a beginner at least, but there it is. See you next time.